welcome back in this tutorial we will try to cover all the options available in arc command so first option is three point arc so it will create arc passing through three points suppose I have a triangle Suppose I want to create an arc passing through these three points. So I can click on it. Three point. Give the first point, second point and third point. So in this way it will create an arc passing through three points. So you can take any three points. Suppose I will take this first point, this as a second point and this as a third point. Then next option is start center end. So you can create arc using start point, center point and end point. Suppose I have some shape here. Suppose I want to create one arc like this. So you, while creating this arc you have to remember that your arc is create, always created in anti-clockwise direction. So as per that you you have to decide your start point if I want to create arc like this so this will be my start point so I will give start center end so at first you will have to give the start point then center point and then the end point and if you give the reverse if you give this as a start point and this as the end point then arc will be created from outside suppose we just try that also Suppose start center end, start point, center point and end point. If you want from outside, so as per that you have to decide your start point. The next option is start center and angle. Suppose I give some start point here. Then my center point is here. And then you, you have to give, suppose I will make ortho off, you have to give the angle. Suppose I give it to be 120 degree. So this 120 degree is actually the included angle. That means if we create one line, suppose, from end of this to the center point, and from center point of to end of this. So the angle between these two lines will be the 120 degree. If suppose we try to give the dimension, angular first line second line location so this angle is 120 degree so the angle is actually included angle this is called as included angle so using that angle start and end point also you can create the arc so length is uh, next is using length so here you you will have to give chord length so if you take this start center length so at first you will have to give the start point then you will have to give some center point and then you have to specify the chord length suppose I specify the chord length to be 10 that means actually if we check which is the 10 dimension using a line so from this point to this point the distance will be a 10 distance so in this way you can create a arc using chord length also then next is then next is start end and angle so it will be the same only the data given is different and you can also create using direction also so direction will be tangent to the first point if we create like this start end and direction this can be used for actually creating slot also suppose uh, I have one line here and I copy this line suppose I want to create here one arc so I can create it using this start end and direction so as I have to create arc like this so arcs creates in anti-clockwise direction so this will be the start point then I will have to give the end point then I will have to give the angle 
so if I give the angle of zero, so my circle will be created vertical. So this option can be used very easily to create a slot like this. Suppose I create opposite also. Start, end, then and now in this case that the angle will be 180 degree. So in this way you can use this command to create slot using angle, using direction actually. Then start, end and radius. So using this also you can create it. So this command is also useful to create a slot also. Suppose uh, again I create some object. Suppose I copy this object at a distance of 5. So my radius will be 2.5. So here I can say that start, end and radius. Give the start point, give the end point and radius will be 2.5. So in this way also, uh, this command also useful for creating the slot. That is you specify the start, end and radius. So here the same, only same as like this, only sequence is changed. So all the other are same and the continue is, it will continue from the last arc. Suppose uh, if I create some arc here and if I click on the continue, so it will automatically continue from the last arc. If I again take the continue, so it will continue from the end point of the last arc. So in this way you can create the arc using continue. So in this way you can use the arc command to create different types of objects. So thanks for viewing. We will stop here.